Today, we're headed back to Crisp. The last time we were there, the lovely, talented, amazing, hilarious Deanna Ortiz accompanied us. We smashed some wings. Oh my God, I'm still in a food coma. Today, Corey pointed out, they have a like foodie choice chicken sandwich with like all their best stuff on it, their signature sauce, everything. We're gonna go snag it, try it out, review it for you guys. Come along. You ready to drive us there? Uh, oh, uh, oh, I'm going to get into a car accident. Don't talk to me. I'm driving. <laughs> the foodies choice chicken sandwiches acquired jump cut all right guys a chicken sandwich for foodies Corey Wagner second angle all right let's open it up and see what we got boom that's the wow. bun wow and this is their delicious uh, chicken uh, sandwich and then we've got bacon and then we've got maybe some arugulas let's get that tomato out of there peace be with you peace be with you Little, little thin guy here. I <laughs> mean, you're not hiding. You're not hiding. Oh, this is really gross, dude. You're really knuckle deep in that thing. Yeah, I don't like it. Um, and then there's like some sauce and some stuff. It looks like white stuff. Maybe that's blue cheese. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's got a lot of stuff on it. Like I read the description and I was like, wow, this thing has like 19 ingredients. Well, bro. Always keep a tray in your car when you eat all your meals in your car. And also, I don't want to have to tell you this again, but quit coming to my parked car and eating your other meals. Well, bro, I mean, I like car. consistency. Just, stop. Just enough. I asked you, just give me one key file. Look, enough is enough. All right, guys, foodie's choice, crisp, Broadway, Chicago. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Instant mm -hmm. happiness. Mm, 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 mm. You know when he does that, he likes that. Look at that. Look at all that bacon on there, dude. The breading on this chicken and the flavor on the chicken, it's kind of like when Bites put General Sows on a chicken sandwich, you're like, oh, no, duh. Yeah. Of course that should happen. Uh -huh. Crisp has the best Korean barbecue in the land, mm -hmm. and they just basically made a sandwich with that like style of breading and, and uh, flavor profile, and it's so freaking good. The sandwich is coming for you, dude. You better be ready. Mm. Oh, this is the best moment of my life. So sad. I haven't had much of a life. I just love Korean barbecue. It's so great. The sweetness of that sauce, crisp of the chicken, that blue cheese dressing or whatever that is. Last time we came here to a Deanna Ortiz, that was one of my favorite episodes. Mm -hmm. That was so fun to like, she was just so She's down. Legitimately one of my favorite people in the universe. I know, I just, I love her comedy. I like love her as a person. Like she's just such a gem of a human being. This video, it's a letter to, De De to Deanna. Deanna. And I'll just talk about all the reasons why we love Deanna. I haven't written to you in months. Mm. This, this is also the type of sandwich you don't need a side with. No. It's so big. This is a filling beast. Spinach, bro. Very unique flavor. Even the spinach is good. Green stuff. With all this happiness, I might as well bring it down a notch. Yeah, you might as well really uh, tank the video. I told Sean before this. I completely forgot someone commented last week because I, I think we must have had Farley in a Monday or Friday video or something. Mm -hmm. And someone's like, oh, did I miss the message? What's going on with Cinnamon? Just so you guys know, because I know there are probably a handful of people who like actually cared about her and loved her because she was awesome in a lot of videos. We did have to put Cinnamon down. We did get a new dog um, to fill that void in our heart. So I don't know if that's a bad thing person thing to do. No. Me and Kylie felt a little guilty about it for a hot second. Like, should we not do this? Is Cinnamon gonna hate us in heaven? She does. Uh, yeah, she probably does mm -hmm. anyways. Yeah. We're giving love to another animal. Um, but it's been like two months, so I feel better about it. So I just figured I'd let you guys know. If you loved Cinnamon and do wanna like, see, I made a tribute video for it. It's on the last three minutes of this uh, video that I put on my vlog channel about me getting my puppy. So if you like, we're obsessed with Cinnamon, um, just skip the first like whatever minutes of that video. The last like three minutes are a tribute video to her. And it actually is really cute. Kylie is six for six with watching that section of that video and just dumping all the tears out of her face at once. Face liquid gone. 
She cries every time. I cried making it. Uh, I cried wa re-watching it a handful of times. Mm -hmm. It is, and it's not even, I mean, Cinnamon's cute and awesome and everything. Right. But I think I just kind of picked the perfect song for it. Yeah, you, well, you did. I mean, the whole editing thing. Like, I love to watch it and watch your wife cry. That's yeah. what, that's what gets me going. Mm -hmm. So it was. I'm six for six. Rock hard. For I, that. <laughs> I'm six for six with being kind of turned down. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, I'm such a monster. No, you did. You picked. Uh, just go watch it. It's very very yeah. good. Also, for the people that like didn't know, you got to go subscribe to Corey's vlog channel. It's very fun. It's very. If fun. I say it, then it doesn't sound like he's promoting himself. <laughs> so that is also linked below this video. Fun, a sad fact. About Corey, Sad fact. but it's kind of funny if you like are willing to be, make fun of yourself. I cry a lot. I'm, that's like a Wagner trait. My grandpa cries, cries at dog food Dude. commercials if the puppies are cute enough. Right. Huge crier, and uh, I picked that song because sometimes I'd want to cry, and I'd watch Kristen Wiig's last yeah. scene at SNL, and it made me cry every time for whatever reason. I don't know why. I love that song. I love Mick Jagger. I love Arcade Fire. They're all involved in that music. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh well. Uh, I'm gonna use this, uh, I'm gonna use this, this is perfect, this song always makes me cry, I'm gonna use this for, uh, that, so that's how I, why I picked that song, so yeah. uh, I just think that's funny that I, the, picturing me, this guy, this broy douchebag, <laughs> just being like, I'm having a moment today, <laughs> yeah. Kristen Wiig's last SNL scene, Yeah. Ah, just by myself, probably stoned out of my mind. Well, it's, it's funny, because like, even, even at your wedding, everyone's like, just crying. Oh, I cried a lot at my wedding. <laughs> it just shows how much you care. Are you crying right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go watch it. It's super good, dude. It was a great video. Guys, look at this. Uh, I know it's. I know really it's struggling. I know, and I want to say something about it, but I feel bad for her. I know, I feel bad for her. Too. She's looked at you a couple times to like. I think she wanted to she make sure to you make had sure. room to pull out. Yeah. Which will plow a car. Yeah, I'll do a couple uh, Chicago taps. Mm -hmm. Talked about that in the podcast recently with old Jordan Williams. Mm -hmm. Chicago taps a true thing. I, sometimes I do some tr Chicago more of a thud, mm. more of a like, oops, that was a little harder than I expected. You know what I do? What's that? The Chicago felony. Oh boy, what's I that? I take a whole bumper off and leave the scene. Oh, that's smart, mm -hmm. dude. Always leave the scene. Well, you have to. Yeah. Because if you don't, I've found people like come after you, yelling at you and stuff. Like, yep. If you leave. And I'm pretty small. I drive a real small car. No one ever finds me. I have a friend who uh, drank and drove a bunch. One time he stole my car and crashed it when mm -hmm. he was hammered. Mm -hmm. And every time he drove drunk, and he crashed his car twice driving drunk, mm -hmm. and both times he just ran from the car and never got Dewey's. Because mm -hmm. the cops didn't find him till the next day, and then all the alcohol was out of the system. My car that he'd stolen crashed was littered with beer cans. Yeah. And they still couldn't prove that he, would, he could just be like, nah, I just brought empty beer cans into that car before I crashed it and then I that is so nice like, well then why'd you run away and he just goes all you got to say is like I just got nervous man <laughs> that's all he said and then all you can get is leaving a scene which is like <laughs> what trust me leaving a scene is way better than a Dewey Times 100%. a billion. I would know. I've never gotten either of those. I've never been in trouble with the law. I'm too quick. I'm right. too fast. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, part of Corey's new channel, bad, bad legal advice from Corey Wagner. What? Yeah. Always <laughs> leave the scene of a drunk driving accident. Whew, that's bad advice. But don't. Uh, you know what? That is bad advice. Sean Neely is not in Boston either. His videos had a lot of ebbs and flows. Mm. Really happy. Talked about food. Your dog was dead as hell. Then we talked about mm. DUIs and stuff. Now we're talking about video games. Mm. You know, this is probably why. And then whatever he's got queued up now. Bro, dead dog story. Oh, God. Wow. My brother texts me, and I think I got a friend who's going to take some of my dead dog's uh, burnt body. His ashes. Ashes. Oh, ashes. Say it the right way. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... And he's a glass blower. He's gonna blow it into a bong. I, I can't. That's cool, bro. I, I can't. I'm stoked about that. I'm, I'm about a, to have a cine bong. Like, will I smoke out of it? I, I'll, I'll have to. You have to. Because I like, might even make insult. you smoke some cine out of. Now that's gross. But I might make you do it. I apologize to everybody at Crisp that watches this video and goes, "Oh, these guys are highlighting our sandwich." And then this happens. Just imagine. Oh, this will be nice. Look at these nice boys. Wait, well, are they talking about dead dogs? Yeah. Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> there should have been a disclaimer on this video that was like, the first three minutes of this video are great. And then it goes really yeah. badly, really quickly. Oh, I'm getting really scared out of traffic right now. Have you noticed me? I flinched a You're couple flinching times. flinching at like cars going by. Yeah, I don't know why, bro. I think all that dead dog I've been smoking. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you want to text number six with cheese about my dead dog, um, legal advice, uh, best places to get 
uh, Korean barbecue inspired chicken sandwiches. Wow. Uh, we got a phone number. Wow. Definitely shoot us a text. 312-847-2322. Before we go ahead and rate the foodies chicken sandwich, let's do a shout out. Vlog shout out, vlog shout out, vlog shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a vlog channel. It is dope. I've been cranking my head recently trying to figure out a vlog that we can do during quarantine. We did the Zoom one, the Zoom Pong. It was awesome. Here's a sick clip from it. Back middle. Or guess Back middle. For you. Boom, another one gone for daddy. Handles, 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 handles. Let's go. Ball game. Ball game. Obviously super fun. We're definitely be coming out with so much more content as soon as the world opens back up. But that channel, for those of you who don't know, is kind of meant to highlight the city and what me and Sean do in terms of like covering events around the city and just kind of our lives in general, which has kind of all come to a standstill, as you guys all know. But I'm working really hard to try to figure out an idea for something fun because I want to try to come out with content for that at least like once a month or two if we can to keep it like alive for you guys. So go check it out, subscribe. We're almost at uh, 1,300 subscribers, which is I think really good. It's actually a fantastic channel too. Also, we did a, a vlog for Midwest Kids on there, which they just did a collab with Bud Light for the summer, which was so, did you see this? It's a large brand, no. It's, <laughs> dude, it's, they just did an actual collab with Bud Light. And I did not know. The shirts are fire. All their stuff. So the fact that we're like collabing with awesome brands and, uh, and going to events like Midwest Kids stuff is pretty cool. So, and you're gonna see more cool stuff like that as soon as quarantine's over. So subscribe now, get there early before we blow up on that channel. It's about to be the sickest channel in Chicago. A fair share. All right, Corey, let's rate that sandwich. All right, muscles. Yeah, bro, that dude was jacked, bro. Wow, dude. Uh, speaking of motorcycles, uh, out of five, sick looking crotch rockets, dude. How many sick looking crotch rocks do you give the foodies chicken sandwich, about 12 bucks a sandwich, crisp, Corey? Uh, super delicious. I just like that it's unique and different. Like, Bites is the only thing that I've had that's like even closely comparable to that. I feel like everyone understands and knows like chicken sandwiches Nashville chicken sandwiches like that's a worldwide thing I don't think people really get that you can take like an Asian fusion to that yeah and Korean barbecue is definitely in that world that wheelhouse I get why they call this the foodies choice I think this is fantastic I thought it tasted really good I like the uniqueness of it I'm gonna give that a solid a four Woo! recently we put out a top five chicken sandwiches blog on number six with cheese.com do you think this cracks into that five or is it maybe an honorable man, mention it might is it's it really close man it might be an honorable mention because i am a little partial to the like nashville's yeah which w was what that was mainly like composed of i feel like that and like one buffalo yeah yeah so it, it's it'd be really tough i'd have to like really look over the list i don't think i can m make that decision right now i like i don't like to be inaccurate ever so if i for sure i need to like if you're gonna ask me a question where I have to analyze, it's mm -hmm. gonna take me about 45 minutes to an hour to sit down and think about it. I need to start psycho. understanding that the words come out of my mouth and I pose a question to you. I'm not just gonna get a quick. Eh, no, it's, I'm a. Ah! Yeah, my brain's broke. <laughs> Tim asked me a question the other day, I answered him for 45 minutes. <laughs> it's <was> unbelievable. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Also, cool, you can get this on DoorDash, like delivered to your apartment in Chicago, so like that's really nice too. Um, yeah, I really like the 4.0. I'm gonna go 4.0. I was kind of right there. Um, asking myself, I think this is an honorable mention. Like, you have, uh, like, Parsons, Bud Long, Fat Shallot. Oh, Fat Like, shallot. those, like, jump out to me right away, yeah. like, bites. I think this is, like, six or seven. I think it's, like, right there, which, understand, in your hometown, this is prob this sandwich would probably put everybody out of business. People yeah, would be... Bowing to it, dude. This city has an unbelievable amount of amazing chicken sandwiches. So it's not fair. It's not fair, dude. Seriously. Um, yeah, 4.0. Uh, we'll be back here tomorrow. We're gonna go slam another chicken sandwich, dude. We're making our triumphant return to Checkers and Rallies. Oh, about time, bro. Glad they came out with something new. I know the mother cruncher. So we're gonna go try that chicken sandwich. I'm gonna go write a love letter, to Deanna Ortiz, because I miss her. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for any video. Bye. Peace.